Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at the infamous ramp problem and how we deal with this, with the forces and the angle and all that good stuff. To make this problem especially challenging, I'm not going to be using any numbers. It's going to be all variables, so it should be fun. So here's the setup for the problem. Let's say I have a ramp, beautifully drawn, good enough. And let's say I put a mass on it with mass M with the ramp having angle theta, the ramp has a height h, and ultimately my question is, I would like you to find the total acceleration of this box as it goes down the ramp. So how do we solve this problem? Well, first of all, it is a forces problem, which means you should always start with a free body diagram. So if I draw all the forces acting on my box, I have a force of gravity, mg, pointing down, I have my normal force pointing perpendicular to the ramp, meaning up and to the right a little bit, and I call that Fn. Let's assume there's no friction for this problem, so no friction. And then a lot of people will say, of course, that there is the force going down the ramp. And then I love to ask those students, what force is that? And they say, well, I don't know. And that's because there is no force there. There is no force pointing in that direction. The only reason why the box goes down is because of a component of the force of gravity, which will be splitting up in components later in the problem. Now, the next step is the secret to any ramp problem. The secret is rotate the diagram so that you're now on flat ground. So what I'm going to say is imagine as if this ramp were on flat ground, and normally I tell my students tilt your head so it looks like the ramp is flat, but the beauty is because of movie magic, I can actually take this ramp and I can rotate it on screen so right now so it looks like it's flat, and now you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now, let me draw that picture on the flat part. So the mass is on just flat ground now, with the normal force pointing straight up, and the force of gravity now pointing down and to the right a little bit. Remember, the mass is still going that way, but with rotating the diagram, it makes the problem a whole lot easier. Trust me. The one thing we need to still figure out is where does that angle theta go? And if you were thinking it goes right here, I would say of course, and also you're wrong, sorry. The actual angle always goes in between mg and the imaginary vertical line going down the center. That's where theta goes. I could prove it using geometry, or you can just take my word for it, which is what I would recommend doing if I were you. Now, I need to make a right triangle here like this and I need to find the y component and the x component of gravity. How do I do that now? Well, as we know, sine is always the y component and cosine is always the x component. And once again, I'm trying to trick you because that's wrong. Remember that cosine is always adjacent leg and the adjacent leg in this case is actually y, meaning if I set up cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse, I get this, cosine is now y, and y equals mg cosine theta. If I wanna do the same thing for x, it's the opposite leg, so I will be using sine. In other words, sine theta equals opposite x over hypotenuse, mg. Yes, mg is the hypotenuse. And then multiply both sides by mg, looks like the x component is equal to mg sine theta. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna quick redraw my picture with these new components. So I have normal force Fn still pointing up. In the x direction to the right, I have mg sine theta. And then going down, I have mg cosine theta. So there's the setup. Now the question was specifically asking for the acceleration. And because acceleration is clearly in the x direction right now, the box is not going up or down. It means I'm gonna be using F net comma x, my x direction. Well, specifically my new x direction after I rotated the diagram. And what I like to say is F net x equals all the forces to the right minus the forces to the left. That's going to be mg sine theta minus nothing because there are no forces to the left. So it's just mg sine theta. And then you always set that equal to ma per Newton's second law. Technically, this is the x component of acceleration, but I'm not going to make a big deal about that. You'll notice that the mass cancels right here, which is why it didn't matter when I gave you mass as a variable. And so the final answer, it looks like, the acceleration in the x direction is equal to g sine theta. And I'm gonna circle that. 
That's my answer. I said that was the acceleration in the x direction. Technically, since the acceleration in the y direction is zero, all the acceleration is in the x direction. And so therefore, this is my final answer. You'll notice for this question, we did not need the y component at all. But if I asked a different question, like let's say solve for the normal force, which I'll ask you right now, then we actually would use the y component. So to find the normal force, going back up to my picture, it looks like I have one force going up, one force going down. I know that they have to be equal to each other because this box is not moving up or down. And if you don't like that explanation, I would also say F net in the Y direction and you'll get the same result. But we're gonna get Fn is equal to that Y component, which is Mg cosine theta. And that's the answer for the normal force. Keep in mind, normal force is usually equal to just M times G, but because it's at an angle, we have that additional times cosine theta in there, which is gonna make the normal force a little bit smaller than usual. That's because cosine theta, no matter what theta is, is gonna be smaller than just mg on its own. And so that's basically it for this problem. Remember that the secret to any ramp problem is to rotate the diagram so that it looks like it's on flat ground and the problem becomes 10 times easier. So thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.